Hi and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to download the completed projects and all of the resources that go with them. And again this step is entirely optional. It um, definitely will save you some time in typing and making your own image uh, but you don't need um, to get these items. Um, if you plan on using your own images and typing the code in directly from the uh, videos um, you can go ahead and just skip ahead to the next um, video. Um, if you go to the website www.timothyframework.net you're going to come to this page and this is the package that you want to download. It includes um, the completed projects. It includes actually 50 project templates um, for you to work with. It includes um, a lot of handouts and learning materials on HTML and CSS, um, a search engine optimization guide, and um, as we've talked about, it also includes all of the uh, resources for the Manchester Learning Project and the Krakow Learning Project. And it actually contains all of the resources for um, all of my Dreamweaver and Expression Web um, videos. So if you're interested um, in this, you can get this package just by clicking right here on this link. Now, once you purchase the um, items, you'll go to the download page. And this is what you're going to see on the download page. And you'll see a section here called Course Materials. And here is the CS5 um, series training materials. Here's the CS6 training materials. And this is what you're going to download. And you can see here there's the framework version 3.1. You're going to download that, as well as the completed Manchester project and the Manchester images. You can also download the Krakow completed project and Krakow images if you want at this point, but you won't need those for um, a little while. But they are here, and you can always come back and re-download these materials whenever you um, want to. Once you've downloaded those um, items, and again, you can download them just by right-clicking and selecting Save Link As, you'll need to unzip them, which um, you can use a program like WinZip or um, Internet Explorer will unzip them for you. And you should have three new folders wherever your Manchester project folder is. You're going to have the completed project, you're going to have the images folder, and you're going to have the framework folder. So you'll have downloaded those three items. You, and again, you can also download the Krakow items if you want to uh, right now. Now, we're going to go ahead and place some of these resources right now into your Manchester project. And again, you don't need these um, resources um, if you don't want to get them. If you want to work with your own images and type in the code, that's completely um, that will completely work for you um, the first thing I'm going to do is the Manchester images folder here I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and open it up and you'll see all the items here I'm going to go ahead and do select all and then I'm going to go ahead and copy them so you can do select all and copy and then I'm going to go into my project folder that I'm actually working on. And I'm going to go into my images folder, which should be empty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a paste. So I just copied and pasted all of those items into this folder. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is again close that out. And we want to come over here to the Timothy CSS Framework version 3.1. And we're going to get some material out of that um, folder as well. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And you'll see there's a few folders in this, um, in this folder. You want to go into the folder called Timothy Framework. And then you want to go into the folder called HTML. And the item that we want to pull out of this item, uh, folder is called lorem.html. So I'm going to go ahead and again copy that, close this window, go into my Manchester project folder, and paste it in there. 
and later on we're going to go ahead and um, grab some more material out of the framework um, but for right now all you need to do is move the images and that one file lorem into your working project folder and then you'll be ready to continue on and again um, if you don't want to get these materials you don't have to you can certainly um, substitute your own um, um, images and type in the text as you see it on the screen um, and I'll tell you the size the dimensions of the images as we go along um, through the uh, uh, through the tutorial so you'll be able to create those I'll see you in the next video